Let's do our quick warm up. So get into your mountain pose, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, ribs in and up, crown to the ceiling, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Take a moment to get your inner perspective. Breathing deep, letting that belly move. Exhaling, tension. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keep those shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them to the floor, lift your heart, stretch into the back bend, and pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. So just deepen as much as you feel appropriate today. Hands toward your head for those shoulders. Move your chin around, get the neck released. And then slowly, knees slightly bent, work your way up from the bottom of the spine all the way back into the back bend. Head slightly back, chest high, shoulders down. Take a breath or two. And then inhale upright and release. Feel that spine getting energized. And again, arms up at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and clasp the hands the opposite way behind you. Again, lift your heart, stretch your spine, pivot over as you exhale. Deepen as much as you'd like, bring those hands up, feel that whole back stretching, and slowly work your way up all the way to the top, chin in, not lifting too high as you get into that back bend. So keep stretching through the back of your neck as well as the spine. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling what's going on. And once again, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your head or shoulders. Clasp above your head and bring the arms next to your ears. Shoulders down, sitting bones down, straighten up, no twisting on this one, lean over to the side as far as you want to go, and push the foot you're leaning away from there. Make sure you're not leaning forward, feel the ribs stretch apart. Inhale back to the center, switch the other hand to the front, and bring your arms again next to your ears. Stretch that spine apart. Stay facing forward and lean to the other side. Take a breath as you stretch out through the fingertips and down into that foot you're leaning away from. And once again, inhaling, come back up and release the arms down to your sides. As you get back into mountain pose, just make sure those shoulders are relaxed, the spine is stretched apart for our twist and bring your arms to shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, again, arms by your ears. Stretch apart through the whole spine, turn and twist. Take a breath in, exhale over. So just deepen into that twist forward bend, keeping your weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Arms next to your ears throughout. And then inhale and stay on your twist as you work your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back, upper body back bend. Remember, no pressure in that low back in the twist. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. And again, stretch the spine and twist to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like. Take a breath, lift the sitting bones, keep the arms next to your ears, and slowly work your way all the way up. Chest high, shoulders down, elbows back, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms extended straight up into extended mountain pose. Take a moment there, just reach your head up, sitting bones down, and then keep your knees going toward your toes, but not beyond, as you push your hips back into our chair squat. So bring your legs down, knees toward, but not beyond your toes, and as far down into that squat as is comfortable for you. Keep the spine straight, reaching out through the head and fingertips and back through the sitting bones. 
Take a moment and breathe. And then exhale, drop into ragdoll, lifting the hips. Take a moment and breathe again. Slide your hands up under your knees. Stretch and straighten halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees slightly, and again down into your rag doll. Bring your arms sliding out next to your ears. Pull the shoulder blades back toward your waist. Straighten your spine, fingertips lead, coming all the way up out of that chair. Squat back into extended mountain. Check your shoulders, make sure they're still pulling down. Palms out, shoulder level, and into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment. Feel what's going on in your body today. Balance practice time. So get those ankles, knees, hips, and shoulder lined up on your favorite balance foot. Make sure you're not gripping with the toes. So lift them up, get that ball of the foot area connected, and then spread the toes out, no gripping. Make sure you're lifting through the arch and that whole outside of your foot is connected. Core active, so ribs towards your spine and up towards your heart, and shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Sink into that foot, bring the other leg up. So a little or more, or towards your chest. And as you get stable, you can work your ankle. Circle it both ways. And when you're ready to release, flex some points, straightening it out as you put the foot back down. Take that, shift it to the other side. Again, checking your alignment, checking your core, shoulders relaxing back and down, ground to the ceiling. Get even into that foot. Remember, don't work with your toes and bring the other leg up. And again, as far into that as you'd like, you can pull it all the way to your heart if that works for you. And again, when you're comfortable there, work your ankle. Take a few breaths, just relaxing. Flex and point as you put it back down. Take a breath, just release any tightness. Arms out, palms towards the ceiling, hands above your shoulders again. Keep the shoulder blades, sitting bones going down and the shoulders away from your ears. Keep extending up through the fingertips. We're gonna push the sitting bones back, bend your knees, and again, another chair squat coming down. Go as deep as you'd like and just relax. Make sure those knees don't go too far beyond your toes. And then put your hands at your heart. And we'll do a little twist. So turning whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder over to one side. Elbows across from each other. Everything looking to the side you're turning toward. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, turn back to the center. Stretch it out. Bring your arms back next to your ears. Lead with the fingertips, coming back up. And exhale, mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment noticing, especially what's going on through the hips, glutes, and the rest of your body. And once again, arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Exhale into your chair squat. Hips back, knees toward your second toe, not beyond your toes, and just as much into the squat as you'd like. Hands to your heart, and again, the whole body turns, so your spine is twisting as you turn to the side. Elbows across from each other, whole body looking to the other side. Take a moment to breathe, exhaling any tension. And then turning again, your whole body looking to the front and arms back next to your ears. Lead with those fingertips back up, arms coming back into mountain pose. Feel what's going on through your whole body. Exhale any tension. And one more balance practice. So once more, start on your favorite balance foot. Sink evenly into it. Bend your knees slightly toward but not beyond your toes. And then bring your other foot up and put that ankle above the knee, knee out to the side. And again, just squat a little bit with those hips going back in your balance. 
And then bring your knee to the front and your foot to the floor as you stand back up. Take a breath and shift to your other foot. Again, getting stable, making sure you're not gripping with those toes and slightly sinking into a little bit of slow. Find your position, your balance, your core activated, and bring that other foot up and across toward the end. And again, just go as deep into that as your body would like. Spreading your toes, sinking hips back. Exhaling tension. And when you're ready to release, knee to the front, foot to the floor, back into mountain pose. Take a breath. Release any balance stress. And bring your hands to your heart. Inhale. Hands toward the ceiling, swan dive forward, hips going slightly back, stretch out through your fingertips, whole spine straight, and then drop into ragdoll, lifting the sitting bones, relaxing, forehead toward your legs. Pull in a little deeper, hands behind your legs if you want to. Have that stretch on the back. Hands back into the front, bend your knees, and transition to child's pose, hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a few breaths there, just relax, pull back of your body, stretching open, any tension out. And then inhale, sitting up, and slide off, bringing your legs into staff position. Legs out in front, feet hip width apart, toes pulling back, heels pressing out, Keep those sitting bones slightly behind you and that core activated, supporting your spine. Shoulders relaxed, crown to the ceiling, and we'll work on those hip joints. So bring your foot to the opposite thigh, knee coming down as much as it wants. Take a breath, just relax. Remember, you can bring this leg over to the side if you want a little bit more release through that hip joint, exhaling any tension. Then we're going to do a little variation from what we usually do on this one. So take a moment, find that hip joint, and then just pivot forward with your spine straight until you feel a little bit more stretch across that glute and back of your hip area. Take a breath, keep pressing out through the heel of that front foot, toes pulling back, knee coming down toward the floor, and just lean a little bit forward right there, pivoting at the hips, not rounding, spine still straight, so that head is going away from the sitting bones, chest leaning. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhale that upright, and bring your foot and knee into your hands, or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in, and then back and forth, side to side, rotating, getting that outside of your hip a little more lubricated. Take a breath, tension out. And then releasing that leg, take a moment as you get back into staff position, feeling the difference between the two sides, yeah. So sitting bones behind you, core active, shoulders back and down, and spine nice and straight, bring that other foot up toward your thigh. And again, just breathe and relax, letting the knee come gently down. Remember, don't push, don't press, don't stress and strain it, just let it relax. Take the leg over to the side if you want it a little bit easier, but there's no need to worry about where the knee goes. It can be totally up in the air, that's fine, wherever your body needs it to go. Exhale any tension. Keep the core active, the spine stretching up through the crown. And again, when you're ready, just pivot forward at the hip joint, bringing your chest forward, still legs straight, toes pulling back, push out through the heel, and just go as deep into that pivot as your back of your hips wants to do. Take a breath, just relax, tension out. And then inhale, sitting up, and again, release that leg back into staff, 
noticing what's going on through your hips and glutes. Take a moment to breathe, exhaling any tension. I'm going to bend the right knee, put the foot outside the left leg. Take a moment and breathe as you stretch the spine apart. We're going to do a twist. So bring your right arm out, same arm as the bent knee, and follow that hand around toward the back of your body. Bring it close to your body on the floor behind you. And then take the other arm across the knee and work into the twist a little bit more. So remember, you're stretching up through the spine, keeping those bones separated so they can twist and turning hips, ribs, and shoulder, looking toward the side or slightly toward the back. The foot in front is still pushing away through the heels, pulling back with the toes, and your whole body is deepening into this twist as much or little as you need. Take a breath, exhale, tension, shoulders down. And then bring that arm behind you back up, follow it back to the center, releasing your arms, and your leg. Back in staff pose, feel again what's going on. And of course, you know we need to balance the body and go the other way. So sitting bones behind you, heels pressing out, toes pulling back. Bend your left leg, foot outside the right leg. And again, we're going to bring the left arm up and move into the twist. So keep stretching up through the crown. Bring that hand close to you on the floor behind you and take your right arm across the leg and deepen your twist. So this back hip, remember, can move up a little bit so your hips, ribs, and shoulder move into the twist. Take a breath. Exhale, relaxing into it, deepening into the twist as much as your body likes to go on this side. Heel pressing out, toes pulling back on that front leg, just deepen your twist as much as you need and want. And then bringing the hand behind you back up, follow it back around to the center, releasing your hands and your legs. Take a breath, exhaling tension. Pull your heels in toward your sitting bones, knees straight up, and then hands at your side. And just lean back slightly. No, we're not going to do abs. Don't worry. Just use your core for a little support, but keep your spine straight and just move as deeply into that as you like. And then pivot back up and pull your front of your body in towards your thighs and let the back of your body stretch. Straight spine up through the crown and just feeling those Sitting bones move slightly further behind you. Back of the body stretching a little bit more open. And then inhale upright and release the legs back to the center. Sitting bones behind you, crown high, shoulders back and down. And bring your right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side, and we'll dive our dolphin. So bend your left knee, bring the heel back near your left hip as much as it wants to go. Stretch up through the crown, spine nice and straight. We're twisting again. So turn your whole body, hip up slightly so your hips, ribs, and shoulder turn toward the right knee. Hand on your hands on your leg or the floor, wherever you'd like. Ribs pulling back, tuck your chin in, and dive your dolphin down. Feel the back of your body stretch as you get into that forward position. And then rotate your chest forward, face to the front as you come inhaling all the way up in a little back bend. And a few times, just diving under, exhaling down, inhaling up, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders. Feel your whole body moving through that range of motion. As you get to the top, Pause, exhaling back to the center and releasing into staff position. Again, feel your body, notice what's going on. Readjust sitting bones behind you, getting ready to dive your dolphin the other way. So opposite foot to the thigh and heel back near that other hip. Again, the hip stays up, spine stretches apart as you turn and twist toward the knee. 
Ribs in, tuck the chin slightly, exhaling, diving under. Inhaling, coming up, facing forward, lifting that heart, dropping those shoulders behind you as you come up in the back bend. And again, forward bend, diving under, inhaling into the back bend, arching up. And just feel that whole body, whole spine, whole hip area doing its work. And again, whenever you come to the top again, exhale, turning back to the center and release your legs. Take a breath, feeling what's going on through the spine, all that energy balancing and aligning things. And then bringing your feet to the end of the mat, activating your core, slowly roll all the way down. And as you get to the floor, just take a moment, we'll relax your shoulders down, let that heart open, shoulders releasing toward the floor. Feet are hip width apart, and take a moment and breathe. Sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, draw your knees, heels up toward your hips, right in front of your sitting bones. Keep those knees straight up, don't let them slide out to the side. We're going to press the back down and slide those sitting bones toward your heels. And then inhale, ribs up, sliding the sitting bones back. Just a little pelvic tilt, strengthening that lower back. Tummy the abs just coincidentally. Not a lot of work there today. Just let the whole body release and relax as you go through this range of motion, sliding into the back to the floor and then arching up with the ribs toward the ceiling. Exhaling tension. And then coming back to neutral, keep those knees straight up, sitting bones slightly toward your heels with the back down. Bring your right foot up and ankle onto the left thigh. Hand on the knee and just gently push it away. Exhale, any stress or tension, stay there or lift the left foot. Put the hand behind the thigh or the shin and pull it in. And again, feel that weight getting a little bit more work on the back of your hip. Take a breath. Exhale, any tension, let it relax. Deepen as much or as little as you want. And then foot to the floor. Lift your legs, straighten it out, and put the foot back down. Heels next to your sitting bones, back pressing just gently down and relaxing your shoulders toward the floor. Bring that left leg up and put the ankle above the right knee. Left hand on the knee, just gently pushing away, getting a little stretch going. And if you want more, lift the right foot, hand behind the leg at the thigh or the shin. And again, just maximize or minimize for that stretch along the back of your body as much as you want today. Exhaling tension, breathing deep, letting everything relax. And to release, foot goes to the floor, hands down, and the leg straightens out before you put it back in. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale in tension and straighten your legs out. Take a moment to breathe, shoulders down. We're going to cross the right ankle above the left knee again and just let that knee come down toward the floor as much as it wants. Exhale in any tension. And then lifting the knee, slide that leg back in. Bring the left foot up to the right. Knee above the right knee, knee up to the side. Again, just letting it come gently down. Exhaling any tension, just letting things relax a little bit more. And then straightening that leg out, return it to the mat. Exhale, sitting on slightly towards your heels, back pressing a little bit more down. Draw the right knee in and up toward your heart. Take a moment there, just feeling that stretch on the back of your right hip root area. Exhale, any tension there. You can stay there, or if that feels good, you can bring the knee slightly out to the side, holding that 
right ankle and pulling it toward the center a little bit more. Do what's right for you. Don't go too far. And if you went out to the side, bring it back in, pull it toward your heart. Then exhale, release that side. And we're going to relax and do the other one. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing gently down, left knee pulling in toward your heart. Again, staying there if you're loving it, just exhaling and relaxing, or hold the ankle toward the midline and bring the knee slightly further out to the side if you want to. Exhale and stress. And then knee back to the center, pull it in. Exhale and relax. And release that leg. Take a moment to breathe. Bring your arms up to T position. Palms up. Bend your left leg, your right knee rather. Put it on right foot on the left thigh. Keep the head on the floor as you roll all the way to the left side. Hands together, knee down. Hold that left knee, no, the right knee on the floor with the left hand. Right hand above your shoulder, right at shoulder level. Keep that palm up toward the ceiling as you lower the back of the hand behind you, looking toward it, moving into your twist. And again, exhale any tightness or tension wherever you're feeling it. Keep that spine nice and open so it has opportunity to twist. And just relax as deeply as you want. The hand may stay in the air, that's okay. Just do what's right for you. Keep the head on the floor, don't overstrain your neck. The more you keep that knee down, the more you'll get that lower back twist, and you'll feel it in that back of your hip belly area as well. Take a breath, tension out. And to release, let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the hip near the other one, straighten it out so we can twist the other way. Sitting on toward your heel, back slightly pressing down. Bend your left leg, foot to the right thigh. Rolling head on the floor as you go so you don't overwork your neck. Hands together in front of you, knee all the way to the floor. Remember, you can pad under the knee if you need to. Right hand on the knee, left arm right above your shoulder, palm open to the ceiling as you look at it and lower it, shoulder level behind you. So remember, don't move the hand down toward your foot or up toward your head, just straight back. Getting that heart area nice and open in this twist. Knee to the floor for that lower back glute area twist, head turning for that neck area twist as well. Take a few breaths here, keep that spine stretching apart so you can exhale and deepen the twist as much as your body likes. And of course, hold these longer on your own. But for now, just release the knee, rolling onto your back, and slide that foot near the other one. Bring your hands down near your hips, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades toward the floor. Bring your head around, get that neck released, and toes toward each other, relaxing into corpse pose. Just breathe deep. Exhale. Let your body sink. Softening into that surface beneath you. And as always, just let the earth support you as you deepen into that inner awareness. And as you release thoughts of your mind, you know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them flow away as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift in and out without attention. Allowing all of the awareness to release from your body and your mind, just focusing inward, finding the peace deep within. Feel your body, feel your mind. Just take a few moments and be peace.
keep relaxing if you have time and opportunity today. It's time to return for the rest of your day, just again drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin stretching gently, however feels good for you. Maybe move your hips from side to side, giving you a little bit of release through that hip and knee area today. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, draw your heels toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, wrapping your arms however feels good for you. Giving a good stretch to that back of your body. And appreciate the work in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.